Good afternoon. We have those clouds streaming in. They're still thin. Sunshine still trying to work through those clouds. Here's a live look in Roanoke with our airport sky cam. Temperature is cool. 48 degrees. Winds are calm right now. That is going to change tomorrow afternoon. Getting a little breezy on top of that cold rain we've been advertising for the past few days now. 48 in Lynchburg, 48 in South Boston. We're in the mid 40s in Blacksburg, 44 in Lewisburg. 44 also in Covington this afternoon. Going to be sticking around the mid to upper 40s by game time tonight. If we're heading down to Blacksburg, Hokies taking the field at 730. Clouds are going to continue to increase. It is going to be cool, but it is going to be dry. So same deal if you're going to one of those high school football games that were canceled for tomorrow and then moved to tonight. Rainfall update on the year. Of course, we know we are way above average. 34 inches now, a little bit more than that in Roanoke. That puts us almost 16 inches above average. To get into the top 10, though, still need about 15 more inches. Hopefully, we do not come close to that. But certainly, again, look at that. Almost 15 inches above average in Danville. 16 on the nose in Lynchburg. A little more than 8 inches above average in Blacksburg. None of us close yet to that top 10 wettest, but nonetheless, more rain is coming in our direction to add to those totals. You see the clouds increasing, really taking across much of the eastern third of the country. There is that rain sliding through parts of Tennessee and the deep south. That's where that heavy rain is in New Orleans, the panhandle of Florida. All of that is working its way in our direction. That cold rain really going to settle in by late tomorrow morning. Tracking that here again, dry tonight for the high school football games. Dry tonight if you're going to the Hokie game tonight. Watch what happens tomorrow. I do think most of us have a dry commute into work, especially the further north you are. May have a few light showers going on in the Mountain Empire. There's 5, 6 o'clock again. Once we get to the second half of the morning, mainly after 8, 9 o'clock, that's when we start to see some of the steady rain slide through. You see the darker oranges and yellows. There is the opportunity for some isolated flash flooding out of the, out of the deal, although again, these rainfall rates going to be nowhere close to what we saw with Michael, but the ground still can't handle a ton of rain. There's five, six o'clock tomorrow evening, maybe a few breaks in the mix, but steady rain going to stay with us until early on Saturday morning. In terms of how much rain we are expecting, a general one to three inches of rain. So again, it's not a ton of rain, so we could use a few more days to dry things back out, but certainly an isolated flood threat going to be there. If you're heading to any of the football games around the region on Saturday, going to be dodging a few showers again. Of course, you just talked about the tech game tonight. Upper 40s with a few clouds. UVA, UNC and Charlottesville, a couple of stray showers out in the mix, but most of us I think are going to be dry. 44 degrees. It is going to be chilly if you're going to UMass to see Liberty play and then JMU takes the field at 3.30. Just a couple of showers around. Not a horrible day for the game. Drier air is going to work its way back in for race weekend. Temperatures is going to be, are going to be back into the middle 60s. Chance for a few showers with us over the weekend, but I do think the afternoon mainly on the drier side. There's that 40 degree day tomorrow with likelihood of rain. Things look to clear up, though, just in time for Halloween, Patrick. At least the worst looking day on that forecast is a work day. Yeah, and we're going to be sitting inside in our offices and not want to be outside on the weekend making plans. Very true.